Well everyone, I'm finally getting around to editing some of our vast stockpile of chittle deer footage from up around Charters Towers. Let's start with two very impressive stags taken by two good mates from New Zealand, Shane and Gareth Hall. Our destination for this trip was the beautiful and historic cattle property Bluff Downs, sadly at this stage suffering one of the worst droughts for many years. Here we are, arrived at our lodgings in the mid 30s I think, so we thought we might just stand under the sprinkler for a while, cool down. What they call that? Was it? Here's Clark on his way back with the water. Here's our billabong. Hopefully no crocs on it. There's the flood level there. Yeah, it's a raging deluge when you see this flood coming down. Yeah. Okay. Coming over that rock bar there is going up 20, 30 feet in the air. Just a big boil of right. plume and smoke. Right Pretty spectacular, eh? See it boiling through there. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. So what do you call this little basalt. river? Basalt river. Basalt. This is just waterfall. Just the sooty in here up to about a oh, kilo and a half, two kilos. One of the striking features of this area are the great lava flows. In areas this lava has decayed to cause virtual landslides of rock that come off the side of the steep bluffs that give this property its name. Even though the temperature was close to 40 degrees and the heat radiating off these rocks was sometimes simply intense, the chittle deer have found this to be quite to their liking and seem to be at home in these stark conditions. My battle plan was quite simple. Let's get out there and look over as many stags as we possibly can until we see something that's just too good to pass up. He's a bloody good head, fellas. He's 31. Oh, 31 to 32 on the long hill around the top. And as it dropped it about as far down. Rubbed it. Probably just to me a 30 odd degree at the moment. It's just good boy. There's a bit of juice going up the hill. Have you got a spare coat that I could wear? Warm, keep oh, you warmer. Put something warm on, it's a bit cold today. Yeah, it's a bit cold. So I said, so he'd be 18 inches. He'd be at least 18 inches, maybe 19 inches to the inner. That's a sweet. He might be 20. I reckon he's got three to five inches to go. He's huge. Okay, yeah, look, he's turned now, Dad. If you look, his brows near, he turns right on. Mm -hmm. First time he stuck his head up. Oh, yeah. yeah might even have an extra point on it. There's a zero. There. He might have an extra point on there. I think he's got a basal snag. I think he has on the left. On the left brow. That apparently is a bit of a mark from a stag, marking a bit of territory. And you're putting this glands up onto that hanging branch. You know, real old stag, you can stole us in space. I think you're going to strike me as being a ten year old stag, he's like a six year old stag. I don't see much of uh, tines on that big one sitting down, is he? Big wide one. Yeah, Dave's got big inners, though. His inners are only like three inches. Always sitting down. And just sat down. Oh, it's good to have had a look at some others and then look at them. Because he, you 
and I just kind of confirmed that we thought he was good. Yeah, got really good brown. break his tips.
small ears. Yeah, look at the other though. Heading home after a good day. Seen plenty. Back down the river. Back to a cold beer. Yeah. We carefully worked our way through all the different bachelor herds around the creek line and made our way up to one of the biggest plateaus in the area. Just as we reached the top, a group of older age stags erupted out of a patch of brush in the centre of this plateau and dropped quickly over the edge out of sight. I instantly realised this was one of the herds of older age stags that I'd be looking for.
this one's extreme. If you can get a clear shot, yep. Well, what do you reckon about that? It's a ripper, isn't it? Beautifully. Oh, oh, oh he's even got a basil snag to boot. Oh, look at that. What a bonus. It's, it's just starting half inch. He's probably just 30. He's only 30, but look oh, at the top. He's, he's got, make up for it. What's that? That's 10. That's 16 inch tops. With an 8.5 inch in it. It's 9 inch in it. Just start to rub. Yeah, beauty. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Does that mean it all come together perfectly? Ripper head. Congratulations, Gareth. Well done. Thank you. Great stag. It's beautiful. Sorted out for a few deer, eh? Yeah. Finally found the one that had everything. I still looked over a hundred stags in the last couple of days, eh? Yeah. And uh, we're very close to shooting a couple of them. Yeah. But no, we'll wait. Keep the waiting wait was worth it. Worth Just when we we're about to go home in the middle of the heat of the day, we saw a good one. Followed him up the hill here. And he came in amongst. Put this one up, which we didn't see at all. Yeah. And uh, had a long wait watching. Long, tense wait, wasn't it? Because he was yeah. hiding, hiding in a bit of scrub ass on, and all he could see was his antlers. Yeah. We must have waited about 15 minutes Probably for him to present yeah. a shot. Finally turned sideways. Yep. The old Bruno rifle did the job. Another victim to its name. Yeah. Might have no blowing left on it, but still works. Yeah. 308. Remington Corlock. One, one bullet well placed did the job. Yeah, I trust you Kiwis to come over here and shoot the big one. <laughs> That's about, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, so that's what it's true. about. That's fantastic stuff. Yeah. Excellent, mate. Even, even Clark might have a gentleman Jack with us tonight. I might. <laughs> <laughs> might we'll just have one with you. Yeah, just to celebrate. No, that's a great head. He's got everything. Everything I'd look for in a chittle. He's got excellent brows. Mm. He's got a nice style to him, a real goblet style. Mm. Yeah. He's got eight yeah, to nine inch inners and big 16 inch tops, probably 32 inches long. Just, that's fantastic. He's even got a, he's a little basil snag. Basil snag. Basil. The uh, velvet's dried up on it, eh? Quite, quite a nice thickness. Good coronets, too. Yeah, that's right. 